Hi, I'm Brett and welcome to 2014 and today we've got a quick update for you on a engine that has come out of a 2002 Subaru Impreza SDI and yes I have got a beard and that's a post Christmas growth so you won't see that for too much longer. Um, I wanted to show you what can happen if you don't maintain your engine properly. Unfortunately this owner brought his car in just before Christmas complaining about um, an engine miss, wasn't running properly, had an unusual noise. We first diagnosed that the spark plugs um, were faulty and if you can see there's virtually no electrode left in that spark plug there um, and um, the rest were not much better. We then um, diagnosed the engine had some other problems, for example the heater wasn't working and he said oh, I have tried to have that fixed for some time. We found out the heater hose was bypassed which is a dead giveaway for a faulty uh, heater assembly under the dash, possibly leaky. And then on closer inspection all the heater hoses and the water hoses were all crunchy and gone hard which unfortunately when we drained the coolant there was no coolant in the, in the water, it was just straight water and full of rust. Then we got more information about the engine and we got approval to dismantle the engine and we found a horrible state of what the condition is here. So I've got the engine to give you an idea. Fortunately he doesn't have the budget to currently fix it. He's going to park it for a couple of months and then come back and do a proper upgrade. This is what an engine out of a current model car should look like. You can see how clean it is. Obviously it's got stains of oil all over it. But look at the engine in the background. You can see just in here the, um, the brown stain from the rust in the water. What you can't see is up inside there is the bolts that hold the two halves of the Subaru block together. But I'll get my video man to see if you can see the original bolts right down the bottom there. It's pretty hard to, um, to see. There we go. You can see that bolt right down the bottom. Well, you've got to undo that bolt to pull the engine apart. Unfortunately, on this engine, the water has been so bad and it's corroded so bad, um, you can't undo the bolts because there's no tops of the bolts left anymore. So this engine effectively is now a throwaway. You can see the condition of the heads, um, all the corrosion around the head gasket area where this part bolts onto the top of the head. Um, you'll notice um, a high degree of carbon build up in the engine, but that's typically common with an age of an engine that's done 150, 200,000 k's. Not necessarily a problem, but have a look at this. You can see this is the top of the rocker cover, um, and this is the return line for the crankcase breather where it's got the most amount of oil blow by going through it, where you get a high build up, and all this black scummy stuff is, is a leftover residual of. of um, combusted oil coming out of the engine. So this engine, um, the client complained about a high amount of oil consumption. And some other little things you can see, see the dent in the bottom of the sump? Now what a lot of people don't realise is that there, on the inside, you've got the oil pickup. Now that bolts to the bottom of the block. So when you put the sump up, there's a specific clearance between the bottom of that oil pickup and the bottom of the sump. You bend the sump up, and then all of a sudden you've got this big piece of steel from the bottom of the sump blocking the pickup to the oil, which can then contribute to other oil related starvation problems internally in the engine. So ultimately this engine needs a massive birthday, it needs a new radiator, it needs the heater fixed, all the radiator hoses, the turbo you can see on the inside here, this is again caused by oil blow by because part of the return line that comes out of the rocker cover assembly goes into the inlet pipe that leads into the engine for the recombustion of the, um, the crankcase blow by and this again builds up all this horrible sooty black scum which has contributed to a really badly worn turbo. It hasn't failed but the car's certainly not going anywhere near as good as it could and frankly this engine needs a massive birthday. So hopefully this level of information will give you a bit of an idea of why when um, your local mechanic says, look, you need to change the coolant or you need to do a oil change because cars that haven't had regular oil changes start looking like that. Um, you need the spark plugs. You can see how over a long period of time, the spark plugs need to be replaced because all of these things are consumable items which contribute then to unfortunately in this guy's situation, if it hadn't had the right coolant in it, you probably wouldn't have a problem with having to throw away that block. Even as a brand new block assembly, you're looking over $2,000 for a short engine just to fix that part alone. So there you have it, a little bit more information about the maintenance of your engine, specifically to the 2002 Bug Eye model Subaru Impreza SDI here in Australia. Um, this 
incredible engine actually it's got the forged pistons they're a really tough engine but unfortunately in this situation it's just a limit to how much abuse it can cope with hopefully this will teach you a little bit more so you can learn more about your car whether it's a subaru mazda or mitsubishi or whatever you're choosing to drive these common sense things that you need to be aware of certainly will help you learn and understand and hopefully will save you money no matter where you are in the world and for now on behalf of mrt performance in 2014 I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and a great new year. Look forward to helping you with more updates soon here from MRT Performance. Bye for now.